We made it through the notoriously bearish month of March and are moving into the usually bullish month of April. Bitcoin wanted to break 60k this entire week. It's been trying to do it. But altcoins, they weren't waiting one bit. Over 24 hours yesterday, there were 58 altcoins in the top 100 performing better than BTC. Alt season is here and will be for the rest of this cycle. So, tis the season to be jolly fa la 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 it's time for chico crypto so uniswap if you know anything about crypto you know about the swap it's a swapping protocol that brought a clean and easy ui to the decentralized space making trading as easy as clicking a single button this has made uniswap into a powerhouse and it's really showing itself here recently the uni has now overtaken bitcoin on crypto fees for 24 hours pushing out over 36 million to the liquidity providers Increasing fees is bullish, but you should know according to the swap blog post on V3 of their protocol, V3 is going live on the mainnet in just over a month. And that time will fly by and the next thing we know, V3 is going to be here. So when the founder of Uniswap tweets big eyes at a crypto who is talking about doing something with V3, Chico Crypto pays attention. Yeah, Hayden, founder of Uniswap, tweeted big eyes as a retweet to X token saying this, some big news from us. We're excited to announce XU3LP, a convenient fungible solution to Uniswap V3 liquidity provision. Stay tuned for more updates as we prepare for a launch shortly after Uniswap V3 deployment in May. Interesting to say the least. So let's now break down exactly why Hayden did the big eyes. The reason the X token protocol provides an ERC20 staking system for making the complexities of DeFi simple. They do this by creating wrapped versions of popular DeFi tokens. So users can easily buy a single token and set it and forget it. That automatically handles liquidity and governance via batching deposits. From their interface, we can see there are strategies set for four DeFi assets as of now, Kyber Network, SNX, Synthetics, Aave, and OneInch. But as you can see, for some, there are two types of tokens, A and B, and that's because they do different strategies. For example, XKNCA automatically votes to maximize staker rewards, while XKNCB votes to maximize the reserve rebates. So why is this important in the context of Uniswap V3? Well, go back to X Token's tweet that Hayden Big Eyed. They said, we're excited to announce XU3LP, a convenient fungible solution to Uniswap V3 liquidity provision. And then in Uniswap V3's blog they dropped here recently, remember they said the LP positions are represented by non-fungible tokens, NFTs. However, common shared positions can be made fungible, ERC-20, via peripheral contracts or through other partner protocols. Hmm, that is what X tokens tweeted they are doing. It's a fungible solution to Uniswap V3's new NFT LPs. Are they a partner protocol? Now, some of you may be like, is this stepping on the toes of Alchemist Coin? No, 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 my friends. And you can see this in the Uniswap V3 white paper. They said this regarding the non-fungible position design. As a result, in V3, the pool contract does not implement the ERC-20 standard. Anyone can create an ERC-20 token contract in the periphery. That makes a liquidity position more fungible, but it will have to have additional logic to handle distribution of or reinvestment of collected fees. That is what X Tokens is doing with the XU3 LP. Then they say, alternatively, anyone could create a periphery contract that wraps an individual liquidity position, including collected fees, in an ERC721 non-fungible token. That is what Alchemist Coin is doing, wrapping individual LP positions as ERC-721s. And according to Bloxy ERC-721 stats, Alchemist Crucible V1s are moving quickly up the transfer and creation charts. Alternative designs for the LPs can be created, but who is going to create them? Well, Uniswap said this in their blog. 
additional infrastructure to support fungible positions, liquidity mining, more complex strategies, and various other use cases will be built by Uniswap Labs together with Uniswap Community after mainnet launch. Thus, those who are already working on the things mentioned in the WP white paper, X tokens, and Alchemist coin are on me radar. As the V3 countdown continues, I would only expect to hear good things from both these coins. Besides that, Chico has a slurry of good things for many recent projects I've covered. But before we get into that slurry, it's time for a sponsored tentacle of this video, supported by the community-driven OctoFi. And like always, the full details of our agreement can be found in the description. So first, what is OctoFi? OctoFinance. Well, they give you cash back when you transact with the most trusted DeFi and NFT marketplaces. You earn free crypto automatically. That is their core value proposition. And this cash back mechanism is first built into their flagship product, the OctoFi DApp. This dApp brings together all the top DeFi and NFT protocols into one place and allows you to transact in one place. There is fiat and gift card options with buy. You can swap trustlessly with Uniswap or with the Swapto Puss, which will extend the tentacles across 36 exchanges and find you the best rate across them. Also within the dApp, there are spot markets and spot trading if you're used to the old exchange way of trading. The dApp also lets you invest in DeFi with ease besides the token themselves, liquidity pools from the top names, Uniswap, Balancer, Curve, and YEARN. Token sets too, automated token strategies you can get right into in dApp, even the flagship DeFi index, the DPI. But there is also a loan interface for borrowing and lending of assets, and even an in-app NFT marketplace, which is integrated with OpenSea's NFT token transaction interface. Now that we've gone through just some of my favorite features of the dApp, there's more in tools like governance, let's understand the cash or crypto back. Remember, Octify is integrating with the top DeFi protocols, marketplaces, services, and the like. Some of these have referral or commission programs themselves. Usually when a DApp or protocol integrates with, for example, OpenSea to bring their NFTs into their DApp, the commission OpenSea pays on sales, 2.5%, goes to the DApp or project owners. They pocket it all, usually. Not Octo, 100% of the commission when people use the dApp are directed to the Octo token holders. And this is true of everything in the dApp. They have a nice breakdown of the dApp functions and Octo holder benefits from each, including commissions from the Fiat Gateway off-ramp, the swap aggregator, and from NFT trading, 2.5% from OpenSea. But soon, things are gonna get way more interesting in the sea of OctoFi, as they have the Octo OctoFi Wallet coming very, very soon. What is OctoFi Wallet? Well, it's a fork of MetaMask. Yeah, the MetaMask everyone knows and loves. But you just might like OctoFi's wallet more. Their fork lowers swapping fees by building in the Swapto Puss. They support various blockchain networks by default, and it has essential NFT features, and it removes all user tracking. And guess what? The OctoFi ethos of cashback is built right into the wallet. When you transact with any of the referral partners using the wallet, either from the OctoFi dApp or directly on their own websites, they of course pay a share of their revenue as commission. Thus, OctoFi will pass through 40% to the wallet user if using the OctoFi wallet, while the remaining 60% goes to the token holders. So you can think of it as a cash back made mass. Their entire ecosystem is focused on just that, cash back, the dApp, the wallet, and even the Octo token itself. You can think of OctoFi as a lolly, crypto back, but not for shoppers, for crypto traders. So if you're ready to earn crypto for the things you already do, like swapping, links for their dApp and the website are below, and of course their Telegram, so you can know first when the OctoFi wallet drops. Now back to that slurry of altcoin news that I have up my sleeve. First, let's start with Muse, aka NFT20, the NFT swapping protocol. Well, just two days ago, DeFi met NFTs as the first flash loan was pulled off on the protocol. 
protocol. I hope you understand the importance of this accomplishment. NFT20 and Muse is to NFTs as synthetics is to tokens. And I only see it moving up in the crypto charts. But what about my omies? Well, Ohm dropped a big release with the blog titled 11233, their reason to bond. And you would think with a big release, the token price wouldn't get crushed, but boy howdy did Ohm get crushed yesterday. And this has a lot to do with the release. Into the blog, they say, bonds give you the opportunity to buy Ohm from the protocol at a discount. Now I'm not going to dive into the complexities of bonding. It would take me a full video. I will let you dive into their article. But this bonding opens up brand new strategies within the protocol and these new strategies are just being discovered and many are looking to take full advantage. Remember my friends, this is a stable asset project. It's not pegged to anything like a dollar, but eventually Ohm is going to find a semi-stable value. Will it be $200? Will it be $1,000? Will it be $1? Or in due time, will Ohm settle around the price of BTC and become the true trustless BTC peg? Well, this experiment is happening. And just like the Olympus Dow Twitter tweeted, Rome wasn't built in a day. I hope you get the R hint. Rary Capital. Cheers. I'll see you next time.